Quest by Aaron Becker. It was a rainy gray day in the city. We waited under a bridge for the rain to stop. A wizard appeared through a door under the bridge, and he told us he was the color wiz. He gave Tommy and I a color map, a pouch, and an orange crayon. The color wiz was taken away by night. The door locked, and Tommy and I used our magical crayons to draw keys and open the door. When we came out of the door, we found ourselves near a cave in a magical world. Not far away, we saw the wizard being pushed off a cliff by the knights. We weren't sure what to do, so we looked at the map that he had given us. We decided we should try to get to the yellow circle on the map. Hiding behind a rock, Tommy drew a sea monster, and I drew some corporates. Under the water, we saw a huge castle and a bright light. We followed the light. It led us to a yellow crayon. Happily, we put the yellow crayon in the sash the color was gave us, but too soon, but too soon the guards were after us. Came out of the water and found ourselves on a deserted island. We went into the trees, and Tommy and I began to draw a rhino. Our rhino carried us toward a city of pyramids, and we saw a green silhouette not too far away. We found a viney bridge and walked across under some gray clouds. We were heading toward a tower of light. Once across, we grabbed the green crayon. Tommy began to draw something to help us escape since the guard's work was behind us once again. It turns out he had drawn a giant dragonfly to carry us away. We finally got to the tower in the clouds and went to the tippy top. We now had all the colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, all the colors of the rainbow. Tommy's bird took the sash of the crayons to protect them from the guards who were getting close in their airships. As the bird was flying overhead, the crayons began to make a streak of color which blasted off the top of the tower. The guards were blinded by the ma magnificent rainbow reaching across the sky. Some of the color-hating guards were flying off of their boats because the rainbow was so bright, while other people cheered and smiled along with the color was who could now escape his captors. And the rainbow overhead brought a touch of color to the once dull city. The color was congratulated us on our great journey. He thanked us and then drew a golden crown for each of us. He said goodbye and went back through the secret door. Back home in our city, our city was now warm and sunny. The trees were green, buildings were high, and the colors brought back to the world. Yet again, another adventure. The end. The end. The end. The end. The end. The end. The end.